Hello and welcome dear mathletes once again to Mathlete Minds. We continue our journey of applications of pair of linear equations pertaining to class 10 CBSC syllabus. Now in this particular topic of applications of pair of linear equations we will be taking up numericals based on numbers. So now let us see what are the different type of questions based on numbers, how we frame the equations and how we solve them. So the first question that is here is sum of two numbers is 8 and if the sum is four times the difference then find the numbers. So let us take the numbers as two variables x and y. So obviously if we are talking about two numbers one will be the greater number one will be the smaller number. So I am assuming x as greater than y. Now why we need to write this down that should be clear because first part of the question x plus y is equal to 8. When we are adding it up we are not going to create any problem it is okay if we just take if we do not write but here the second part of the question says if the sum is four times the difference so when we write the difference this will be x minus y so here we have taken x is greater than y so the difference will be x minus y so that you must keep in mind you can take y as greater than x there is no hard and fast rule that you have to take x as greater than y so the question says if the sum is four times the difference that means x plus y is 4 times x minus y. So then find the number. So you get here two equations. The first one of course is very simple. The second one we can simplify further. So in the second one what we are going to do is we are going to write for x plus y we are going to write it as 8. So 8 is equal to 4 into x minus y. So this implies 2 is equal to x minus y. Now we bring the first equation over here x plus y is equal to 8 and by simply adding it the y terms will get cancelled so 2x is equal to 10 which implies x is equal to 5. Now if x is 5 y will be equal to 8 minus 5 that is 3. So the second number is 3. First number is 5 second number is 3. So this is how we solve it. Now I have done it this way you can even uh, simplify this x plus y is equal to 4x minus 4y get two different equations and solve them that way also or you can put y in terms of x or x in terms of y in the first equation or in the second equation by substitution and do it there is no uh, fixed rule that you have to do it this particular method only but this is the easiest option over here the next one is the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other find them so the difference between two numbers is 26. Let us take the numbers as x and y. Now here again I am assuming x is greater than y. So the first uh, equation will be x minus y is equal to 26. And one number is 3 times the other. So here you must have clarity in your thought that if the uh, we are talking about x as the greater number. So obviously the greater number will be 3 times the smaller number. So this you must understand. If you have taken y as the greater number, then y will be equal to 3x. And this will become y minus x. So here we replace x with 3y. So we get here 3y minus y is 26, which implies 2y is 26. So we get here y is equal to 13. So x obviously will become 3 into 13. That is equal to 39. So x is 39, y is 39, y is 13. And you can check the answer. The difference between them is 26. Moving on to the next one. Sum of two numbers is 1000. And the difference between the squares is 2,56,000. Find them. So again let us take the numbers as x and y. So sum of the numbers is 1000. This is your simple first equation. Difference between the squares. Now the squares will be x square and y square. Again I am assuming x is greater than y x squared minus y squared will give us 2,56,000. This is your second equation. So now what we'll do is we'll take the second equation x squared minus y squared is equal to 2,56,000 and simplify this. So how are we going to simplify? We can break this up as factors x minus y into x plus y using a squared minus b squared formula is equal to 2,56,000. So now from the first equation, I can replace this x plus y as 1000. x minus y is equal to 2,56,000 divided by x plus y. 
So this becomes 2,56,000 divided by 1,000, which is equal to 256. So now we get one relation x plus y is 1,000 and one relation x minus y is 256. So if we add them up, we'll get here, we'll get here 2x is equal to 1, 2, 5, 6, which implies x is equal to 6 to 8. So y will be equal to 1000 minus 6 to 8 that is equal to 372. Right? That will be equal to 372. Yes, 372. And you can check the answer. Uh, 6 to 8 plus 372 obviously will give us 1000. x square minus y square. You can put the value of x as uh, 628, find the square and subtract 372 whole square and you will get here 256,000. The next question is, a two-digit number is four times the sum of its digits. If 18 is added to the number, the digits are reversed. Find the number. So, a two-digit number. Now, what is a two-digit number? Let's take a very simple example. Supposing I write here 22. Now, 22 can be broken up as or written in the expanded form as 10 into 2 plus 2. So, uh, we are multiplying this 2 with 10. This is 2 is occupying the tens place, tens digit place. And here, uh, one digit place is being occupied by another two. So that means, if we generalize this type of statement for two-digit number, for the tens digit, if I assume it to be x, and the units digit to be y, the number can be written as 10x plus y. You can take uh, y in the units place and x in the tens, uh, sorry, y in the tens place and x in the units place. But you need to mention over here, what is the tens digit? And what is the units digit? I have taken the tens digit as x. This is the tens digit. And uh, y is the units digit. Y is the units digit. So this you need to uh, clarify. Now the question says a two digit number. So this is the general format of a two digit number. The question says 10x plus y is four times the sum of the digit. Sum of the digit will be only the sum of the digits. That is x plus y. So let us simplify this and we get here 10x plus y is equal to 4x plus 4y. So if we simplify this further, we will get here 6x is equal to 3y which implies 2x is equal to y or y is equal to 2x. Now let us take the second part. If 18 is added to the number, that means this is the number 10x plus y. We add 18 here. The digits are reversed. That means the y and x they interchange the position. So 10y plus x. Y becomes a tens digit, x becomes a units digit. So now on simplification of this, we get here 9x minus 9y plus 18 is equal to 0. Take out 9 common, we are left with x minus y plus 2 is equal to 0. Now y is 2x. So here I'll put for y 2x. So x minus now this is the simplest form of the first equation and this is the second equation. x minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So minus x plus 2 is 0 which implies x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. Then y of course will become 4. y is equal to 2 into 2 that is 4. So we can't leave the answer as x is 2 and y is 4. We have to get back to the number. The number is 10x plus y. So this becomes 24. Solution is 24. So you can check it. If 18 is added to the number, the digits are reversed. So if we add 18, we'll get here 42. And so the numbers, digits have reversed themselves. Next question is, again, a two-digit number is four more than six times the sum of its digits. If 18 is subtracted from the number, then the digits are reversed. Find the number. So a two-digit number let us take the two digit number as 10x plus y. Is 4 more than 6 times the sum of the digits? So 6 times the sum of the digit is 6 into x plus y plus 4. If 18 is subtracted from the number, then the digits are reversed. So let us first simplify the first equation. This will become 10x plus y is equal to 6x plus 6y plus 4. Or we can take this as 4x minus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0. 
So this is a simplified form of the first equation. This is x. Then the question says if 18 is subtracted from the number, that means 10x plus y minus 18, then the digits are reversed. Digits are reversed, they interchange the position 10y plus x. So now on simplification of this, we get here 9x minus 9y minus 18 is equal to 0. So take out 9 common, x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is the simplified form of the second equation. Now we solve these for, uh, two equations, simplified form that is 4x minus 5y minus 4 is 0. So now what we'll do is we'll multiply the second equation by 4. So we get here 4x minus 4y minus 8 is 0. I multiplied the second equation by 4 that is coefficient of x from the first equation so that the x terms can be eliminated. Now sim uh, if we subtract this, the signs will change. So this cancels out here. We are left with minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 4. So what is x? Now if I put the value of y as 4 here, we will get here x minus 4 minus 2 is 0. So this gives us x is equal to 6. So the number automatically becomes 10 into 6 plus 4, that is 64. So this is the number we are talking about. So uh, the question says if 18 is subtracted from the number, the digits are reversed. So if we remove uh, this uh, uh, it will be equal to 46. Obviously, the digits have been reversed. The next question is, a two-digit number is four times the sum of its digits and twice the product of its digits. Find the number. The two-digit number is 10x plus y. This is four times the sum of the digits. So, let us simplify this. Then we'll take the second part. So, we get here 10x plus y is equal to 4x plus 4y. So this becomes 6x is equal to 3y or y is equal to 2x. This is the first equation, first relation between x and y. Then the question says that the sum of, and twice the product of its digit, that means 10x plus y is 2 times the product of the digit, that means 2xy. So here y is equal to 2x. So now in the second equation, I put the value of y as 2x. So we get here 10x plus 2x is equal to 2x into 2x. So this becomes 12x is equal to 4x square. So we get here a quadratic 4x square minus 12x is equal to 0. Now if we solve the quadratic, definitely we will get here two values of x. So 4x squared minus 12x is 0. I can take out 4x common. I am left with x minus 3 is equal to 0. So this shows that x is either 0 or x is 3. Now we can't take the value of x as 0 because if we take the value of x as 0, the number will reduce to 0. We have to have a two-digit number. So we take the value of x as 3. So you have to give the reasoning as to why you are ignoring 0. And you are taking the value of x as 3. So if x is 3, y will be equal to 6. y is equal to 2x, that means y is 6. So the number becomes equal to 36. This is the original number, 36. And if the digits are reversed, the number will become 63. The next question is, two numbers are in the ratio 5 is to 6. If 8 is subtracted from each of the numbers, the new ratio is 4 is to 5. Find the numbers. So we have two numbers, the ratio between the two numbers is 5 is to 6. So we can write it as x by y is equal to 5 by 6. Then if 8 is subtracted from each of the numbers, that means x minus 8 by y minus 8, the new ratio is 4 upon 5. On cross multiplication over here, we get here 6x is equal to 5y. Cross multiplication uh, over here, we get here 5x minus 40 is equal to 4y minus 32. So 5x minus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0. So from here we get the second relation. So now in the second relation we can either do substitution from the first. That is I can take out the value of uh, y as 6x by 5 or x as 5y by 6 and find the values of x and y. Or you can solve them by elimination also. No hat and fast rule. So if I put here 
y as 6x by 5 in the second equation. 5x will remain as it is minus 4. y is 6x by 5 minus 8 is equal to 0. So 5 into 5 is 25. Take the LCM. Minus 24x minus 14 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 40. So uh, the numerator or the first number is 40. Now what is the second number? y is equal to 6 into 40 by 5. 5 eighths. So this is 48. So the numbers are 40 and 48. So if you take out the ratio 40 by 48, that is equal to 5 upon um, 6. This is equal to 5 upon 6. 8 is the common factor. So this you get as 5 upon 6. The next question is, a two-digit number is obtained by either multiplying the sum of its digits by 8 and then subtracting 5 or by multiplying the difference of the digits by 16 and then adding 3. Find the number. The so two-digit number, the two-digit number, we'll take it as 10x plus y, is obtained by either multiplying the sum of its digits by 8. Sum of the digits is x plus y, multiply it by 8 and then subtracting 5, that means subtract 5 from here. Or it can be obtained, the two-digit number can be obtained by multiplying the difference of the digits. Difference of the digit is x minus y. I have taken the tenth digit as greater than the unit digit. The difference of the digits by 16. And then adding 3 to it. So here you get uh, these two equations. Now you can solve it as you wish. All right. Um, you can bring down this for 10x plus y and get a relation between x and y and take uh, the help of any of the equations from here and get the value of x and y. So let us simplify the first equation that is 10x plus y is equal to 8x plus 8y minus 5. So this becomes 2x minus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0. This is the first equation after simplification. Second equation will become 10x plus y is equal to 16x minus 16y plus 3. So this becomes minus 6x plus 17y minus 3 is 0. Take out minus common, you are left with 6x minus 17y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now the first equation is this and this is the second equation. So looking carefully at the two equations, 2x minus 7y plus 5 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 17y plus 3 is equal to 0. If we have to solve it by elimination, I'll multiply this first equation by 3 so that I can equate the x coefficient. So I'll get here uh, 6x, 6x minus 21y plus 15 is equal to 0 and 6x minus 17y plus 3 is equal to 0. I have not done anything with the second equation. Now subtracting the two, the signs will change. So this will cancel out. We are left here with minus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 3. So what is x equal to? Now we will take the value of y as 3 and put it in either of these equations. So if I put it in this first one over here, I'll get this as 2x minus 21 plus 5 is 0. So 2x minus 16 is 0. So x is 8. So the number comes as 83. The number comes as 83. The number solution comes as 83. This is the number 10x plus y. And you can check it out also. It's obtained by either multiplying the sum of its digits by 8. Some of the digits is how much? 8, uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. So if we multiply it by 8, we get here 88. And subtracting 5, so you get here 83. So it is the correct solution. So with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you like the explanation. Kindly like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have watched the video, I hope you have secured something from the video you have gained some knowledge from the video thank you once again for watching kindly like share and subscribe to the channel